102.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. Today's second date update is a shocking one. And I say that because the dude on the phone named Daniel didn't meet his date on an app or anything. Mm. He actually met her in real life. Is that the shocking one? Oh, I know. Yes. Okay. It's crazy. He oh emailed God. in and said he met a girl at Chipotle. What? Standing in line. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I, I didn't realize that people actually met that way anymore, so this is going to be very interesting. Daniel, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, pretty good. And you guys? Pretty good. good. They, apparently, it's like we're talking to a ghost, like a person of the past who's here Ooh. in the future. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's weird for people to meet in person nowadays. Yeah, it is. <laughs> How does that happen? You just like exchange words yeah, with well, someone? Like, what? what? They made eye contact even, I bet. Wait, like their face looked at your face? <laughs> yeah, I need more information, Daniel. What's the name of the girl you want to call today? Her name's Jill. Jill, all right. And tell us about how you met her. Well, basically, we were just standing in line at Chipotle together. And if I'm completely honest, she's got a hot body, dude. Like, <laughs> she's got lots of curves and... I mean, it was funny because I noticed her and she was right behind me and I just, I just asked. I was like, so what are you getting today? <laughs> oh my God, you were bold. You just turned around and... <laughs> yeah, well, I was basically just trying to be more smooth. I was asking her what food she was getting and what she likes. Oh. And turns out we're both getting bowls. Nice. Um, and then it turns out we also both like black beans. No way. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Wow. I didn't even know there was another option at Chipotle. Yeah, there is. Okay. Of course. Sorry. Bro. Yeah, you can get refried fried beans, so us both getting black beans is just crazy. Whoa. Yeah, I know. It's meant to be. <laughs> Are you, you guys both like, you bonded over black beans. Oh, cute. Yeah, and, and then she commented on my T shirt. I had a picture of a baseball player hitting a ball and underneath it it said touchdown. So she <laughs> That's kind of funny. said that, that was funny. And the fact that she has a killer body and a sense of humor. She's got everything. Killer body. She likes black beans just like you. And she appreciated your t-shirt. Oh, I mean, I think your wedding vows are written right there. <laughs> I mean, something's going on because it was just too much stuff lining up. I had to go for it. So okay. wait, did you guys go sit down together at some point? Or did you just talk briefly in line? I didn't ask her out right then, but after our little exchange, I just hung out by the napkins. Okay. And she came up and was like, oh, you again. So then I asked her out right there. And you're like, yeah, I've been hanging out by this napkin dispenser for like an hour. <laughs> it took you so long. How are your black beans? So, so you, you asked her out right then, and I'm assuming she said yes? Yeah, yeah. And oh. so we had a date the same night. Oh, sweet. Yeah. We ended up walking around the mall. I got to learn more about her, awesome. and I found out that she was in a long-term relationship until recently. Oh, okay. my God. I'm glad you added, added that last part. Until recently? I was like, <laughs> that's a yeah. buzzkill. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't have been good if she was in a long-term relationship. Yeah, no. that might be the reason she's not calling you back if she was. Might be a big reason. Yeah. <laughs> to me, though, I like the fact that she was in a long-term relationship until recently. Why? Because usually girls that are single for a while... Usually there's something wrong. Maybe they're crazy or needy or desperate <laughs> or, or all three. So wait a minute. Aren't you single? How long have you been single? Two years. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So maybe this you're is a little like one of those crazy and needy and black situations. all that stuff. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a dude that's different. I can be single. It's fine. Oh, oh it's different. Girls. All right. I liked you for a second. I liked you before that statement. That's good logic. Come on, how can you not admit that that's true? No, it's not true at all. That <laughs> women, ha the women have to be in relationships to not be crazy. Like none of that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, I don't see the problem. Like it, it makes total sense. <laughs> and we're, that, we're different. That did you is tell the her? Issue. Did you tell her that on your date? You're like, I'm glad you've been in a relationship for a while because otherwise you'd be crazy. <laughs> no, I didn't tell her that. I just told you guys that. Uh, okay, good. We went to a movie together, and we ended up kissing after that, and okay. things were cool. Okay. Yes, that's good. But since then, has she not been talking to you? Mm, I mean, she has. I've called and texted afterwards, and she'll respond, but never to the ones where I'm asking when she's available next. So Ooh. that's where I'm a little confused, and I need you guys to help me out with this. Okay. Well. And you can't think of any reason that she doesn't want to go out with you again? No, no. I everything was cool. She liked my sense of humor. I liked her sense of humor. Hot body. I don't. I don't see what hot the problem body. was. Yeah. Oh my god. Do you think she caught me staring at her hot body a few times? 
because I mean I was staring, but I don't know if she caught me. <laughs> Could have been. Maybe you're staring a little too long at the hot yeah. body, and and then it creeped her out. I don't know, but we'll. Just uh... even you saying that is creepy <laughs> every time. Yeah. Hot body. Hot we'll play, body. We'll play you can a song. Be attracted to somebody without being creepy. We'll play a song and then come back and call her and get your second date update. All right. All right. Cool. Okay. Hang on. Brooke and Jubal in the mornings. Second date update. Right in the middle of a second date update, and if you're just joining us, we're about to call the perfect woman. She likes black beans. Mm. She's got a hot body. Mm -hmm. And apparently she just got out of a long-term relationship. The perfect perfect woman. (laughs) At least according to Daniel, who's on the phone for a second date update today. He met a girl named Jill at Chipotle. They were standing in line, and they bonded over the fact that they both like black beans. That was the big thing. She's dating material, and she's not crazy. Because any girl that's single for a long time is usually crazy. But only girls. Yeah, Yeah. only girls, though. Not guys. Because he's been single for two years. All right, Daniel, I'm about to give her a call. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, but I didn't say all of them are crazy. Some of them are needy, too. Oh, my oh, God, yeah. Daniel. Crazy and needy, my bad. <laughs> or needy. Your hypocrisy knows no end. <laughs> Daniel, have you ever thought, I mean, I'm guessing no to this question, but maybe she's not calling you back because she just got out of a long-term relationship and doesn't want to jump into another relationship. No, nah, I think I think there was just too much that was good. I mean, she had a hot body. We liked the black jeans. <laughs> Everything you guys said already was true. So, yeah, uh, man, it does sound like you had a deep connection. You're yeah. right. <laughs> I think it was probably just too much good stuff all in one day mm. because, I mean, everything was so perfect. She was probably like, wow, I met Mr. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure that's what it is. Could, Overwhelming. Just a little bit shook yeah. from that experience. All right. Well, to call Mr. Right. I'm going to dial her phone number right now and find out if that is the issue. OK. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Hello. Hi, may I speak to Jill, please? This is Jill. Jill, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Hi. Hi. Do you know what that is? Do you know what Brook and Jubal in the Morning is? Well, I think it's a show. Yes, it is. All right, it's a Jill. radio show. <laughs> Have you ever listened to us before? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, good. It's, it's good. It's good to like not really be sure about that. That. <laughs> Speaks highly of us. Um, I'm calling you today, though, because we got an email about you from somebody who listens to our show. Are you sure you have the right number? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. We do a segment called the Second Date Update. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody and then end up not calling them back after, they can email us to get you on the phone and ask what happened. So we got an email about you from Daniel. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, So what does he want? Well, he wants to know why you won't commit to go, going on another date with him. Oh. <laughs> he, told, he told us about when he met you. He said that he really liked you. He thought you guys had a good connection. And he's just confused. Yeah. It, he seems like a really nice guy, I think. And he's pretty cute. I just, um, it's not really about him right now. It's, it's about me. I know that sounds lame, but no. being honest. He, he told us that you had just gotten out of a long-term relationship, and I suggested that maybe you just weren't ready to enter another one, and that's why you weren't calling him back. Kind of, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's not that. I just, can I just be honest? Yeah, sure. for sure. Well, I was in a long-term relationship, but my boyfriend just received a prison term and so he's he's going to be locked up for i think three years okay wow a minimum and so it's just making it really weird for me right now so wait are you single or are you still with prison guy (laughs) so when he went away you know we were still together but he said you know i'll be in here a while and he doesn't really want me to wait on him and Hmm. he wants me to be happy which is totally the guy that he is and i get it Mm mm-hmm and then I met Daniel the next day, and I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll see. It's a nice guy, and I don't know. Let's let's see, but I'm just still not sure. Okay, so you kind of still have a boyfriend. Well, I'm, I, I want to be open. It's just a little complicated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I would imagine. So you did like Daniel, though. You thought he was like a good dude. It's just that you have a ex-boyfriend, sort of still boyfriend, who's <laughs> locked up right now. 
yeah, you know, we had a lot of fun. It was nice being, you know, out and having fun and not thinking about all of these other crazy things. And we had a good time. Yeah. Okay, well, Jill, I also have to let you know that Daniel is actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, he wants to talk to you. And this is not a collect call. There's no time limit on it either. So you can talk to him for a, a minute if you want to. Yeah. Do you want to talk to him? Uh, are you serious right now? Yes, I am. Unless you hung up. Daniel, are you still there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, Jill. Hi. So why <laughs> didn't you tell me about this before? I mean, that's a concern for me. Concern? Well, Can you tell uh, you me know, how big this person is or how what? tall they are? Or... How big? Are you going to fight him? Are you scared? <laughs> what are you saying? I mean, your dude's in prison. Like, that's just... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Well, you know, Phoenix, he's in there for three years, so... Yeah, but is it like a white-collar crime or a blue-collar crime? Is is he tough? Or... <laughs> I mean, what, it, what you... you're, you're really strong, so, you know, you don't have to worry about any of that. I, I can tell, you, you know, you're a tough guy a little bit, and I felt really safe with you, so, you know. <laughs> you can square up with him. Hmm. Huh. He yeah. sounds worried. Huh. Yeah. Are you, what are you worried about, Dan? Are you worried about, like, uh, you start dating Jill and then in three years gets out of jail and then... Yeah, comes right after you? His name's Phoenix. I mean, this sounds like a really tough dude. I, I don't know anybody called that. <laughs> He's a really nice guy. He's super sweet. You know, he got caught up with the wrong crowd. It's nothing that you should worry about, Daniel. I had a really good time with you. And I know that if anything ever happened, like... You'd be fine. I've, you've been in a knife fight at least once, right? Oh, what? What? Did you say knife, a knife fight? fight? For real? <laughs> no, I've never been in a knife fight. Why would you ask me that? <laughs> I mean, the world is a crazy place. Anything could happen. <laughs> yeah, but you you just said a knife. Like that's the kind of stuff that happens in prison. I I I'm not trying to be in a knife fight all of a sudden. <laughs> No, uh, nice fights happen outside of prison, too. They can happen anywhere. And, you know, that's how people usually end up getting locked up in the first place. Oh. Well, now we got okay. Now we're maybe getting a little information on why Phoenix is locked oh, up. Oh, dang. Jill, I can't tell if you think knife fight is a positive or a negative for Daniel. <laughs> like, what's the best answer here? Yeah. Well, I just, he seems like a guy that can handle himself. Hey, newsflash, I can't handle myself in a knife fight. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Is that a deal breaker for you, Jill? You know, no, I, I just think he's tougher than he thinks. Okay. okay. You can do it, bro. Yeah. You well, we believe it. in you. Could you give me his whole name so I can Google this and do some research afterwards? <laughs> I don't I don't even know his last name. What? What, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> He has no last name? <laughs> I'm sure he was born with the last name. It's just, he never told me the whole time we were dating. He, he never used a last name. You see, we were dating oh. for like two years. <laughs> this guy sounds nuts. I don't know what to say. Uh... Dude, would you like to go on a second date with Daniel? We'll pay for it. He's got to bring his own knife, though. We're not <laughs> paying for the knife. I would. You would? I would. Oh. Yeah. He seems like he's a little shy, but he's also like strong and, you know, just in case anything gets rough out there in the world, I feel like he could protect me. Oh, my God. Okay, Daniel, uh, what do you think, man? Guard? You got a second date. I think he just peed himself. You know, I I might have to think about it. I oh. I don't know. I don't know. Are you scared Come to on. say no, Daniel, or are you really contemplating this? Well, things have changed because there's another component to this. So <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying no. I, I think you have a lot of good attributes. Like, your body is amazing. I just I just <laughs> need more time to think about this. Okay. Oh. All right, Jill. Jill, does that work for you? Are you going to think about it a little bit? I mean, yeah, Daniel, you could think about it, but don't wait too long. You know who's coming out soon. Uh, <laughs> right. yeah, don't wait three don't years. Don't wait too long because otherwise Phoenix will be out and looking for you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure. I'll do the, the, I'll, I, I'd better, I'd better go now. All right, so we'll Bye. let you go then. Bye. We'll see you later. Good luck. Oh, <laughs> Broken Jubal.